My name's Gary Klein. I'm 40 years old, and I live in Weatherford, Texas. I have been competing full-time now for 24 years. I have started fishing Bass Hanger Sportsman Society uh, in 1979. I've won Bass Hanger of the Year twice. I've qualified for 16 classics. If I can capture one more big one, I might get to play tomorrow. <laughs> the competitive fishing has just begun. The numbers are there. There's so many millions of people in this country that love to fish. Well, I've always felt that, um, I guess really all the seminars that, that I instruct around the country during the course of the different years is that there is no such thing as a secret lure. Absolutely. My definition of a secret lure is the lure you have tied on the end of your line at the time you're catching fish. Mm -hmm. So the more fish you catch on this secret lure, the more of a secret it actually becomes. When in fact there are no secrets, especially if you take a look at all the uh, the TV shows and everything that's written about bass fishing, it's still the same basic lure groups that are going to catch the fish. You know, the spinner baits, the crank baits, right. top waters, jigs, and plastic worms. They were at the beginning, and they are now, and they will be 20 years from now. So there has to be something else involved in the equation to make some anglers better than other anglers, and that all comes back to lure presentation. And any time I catch a fish on a lure, my mind automatically thinks of probably three to five different lures I could have caught that exact same fish on. Mm -hmm. And the reason I didn't is because I was only using one lure at a time. And I think that's one of the edges that some of the advanced anglers have on the average fisherman is that we're not wrapped up in the secret lure syndrome. Mm -hmm. And we truly understand that that fish that just hit my buzz bait would have hit a spinner bait, would have hit a floating worm, that sort of thing. So we don't get sidetracked as much. And, and, and your presentation of that lure, in many instances, is more important than, a, than the lure itself. Exactly, without a doubt. Lure presentation, I think, is the most important thing. And I think the other thing that a lot of the, the uh, advanced anglers have is that we're just a little bit more persistent than, than the average guy. Because it, this is the first thing I try to tell a crowd of people is that there is very little difference between a good fisherman and, you know, the better anglers. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a real fine line. And the only reason why there's an elite group of guys that are competitors that are a little bit above everybody else is because we do it every day of our lives. Mm -hmm. And any time you do anything for any length of time, you're bound to get you better at to. it.